For William and Paul, today isn't just an historical commemoration, it's a profoundly personal remembrance. I would wake up in the morning and I would look in the mirror and I would see characteristics that were clearly African in origin. But when um, I answered to my name, I was answering to a European name. To find out why set Paul Crooks on a 13-year search, tracing his ancestors first to a Jamaican plantation where they were slaves. When you see a slave register for the first time and, and, you, and you touch um, a document like that, you know, all, all the, the pain of 200 years sort of, you know, floods back. I also found on the same plantation uh, my great, 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 great grandmother and her name was Ami Jabba. Knowing that led Paul to Ghana. Um, it led me to meet my uh, lost family in, in, in Ghana um, and um, to the place where uh, Ami Jabba uh, was taken from. And how did you feel when you were there? Ah, at home. <laughs> the political force behind this act abolishing the slave trade was William Wilberforce. Today, his great-great-great-great-grandson wants also to remember the slaves who opposed the vile trade. I consider my ancestor to be the political figurehead, uh, but I think these other people need recognition as well, and, and especially um, all the black people who fought for their own um, well, the abolition of the slave trade. Do you think that there should be an apology for slavery? Um, I'm very definitely an apologist. Um, I, I think it, it, it takes a big country and a big person to apologise and I know it's symbolic because it happened 200 years ago but I make no apology that I'm an apologist. Uh, I, I definitely think it's necessary. Paul hopes his children's generation will today reflect on the struggles of their ancestors while William believes his ancestor would see much still to do. I just feel slavery is metamorphosed into more insidious form where if you take the example of, of, of people who are trafficked all around the world, it's quite remarkable after 200 years that we actually haven't come very far in a lot of ways. A sad reflection on this of all anniversaries. Helen Wright, ITV News.